So I got a call just now that I didn't take, but then they followed up with a text message. And what you're seeing on my screen right now is what is on my cell phone screen. I got a notice from some number claiming to be Chase Bank. Well, the first thing that any of you should do whenever you get a notice is don't take the notice at face value. If it claims to be from a bank, independently go to that bank. If it claims to be from a website, independently go to that website. Don't follow any links or calls or numbers or any sort of means provided by that service. You want to get there the way you normally would because that breaks the chain that they're trying to set up that will eventually lead to stealing your information. So this is the actual message I got from this, obviously a scammer. And I thought, well, why don't we have a little fun with this? Why don't we scam the scammer? I made a virtual credit card number and I'm gonna give them a call, but I'm not gonna give them the satisfaction of knowing what my cell phone number is. Now I'm gonna make a virtual phone number as well so that they also don't get a legitimate phone number that they can spam later. So let's give them a call right now. So I'm gonna put the actual audio from this on, on the air. Please enter your debit card number followed by the pound key. Why would they just ask for the debit card number outright? That's, it's because they want to steal it. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, here you go, I have a number, go ahead. Please enter your debit card pin, the same pin you use at the ATM. Okay, this is creative. Debit card pin, the same pin you use at the ATM. For your, for your security, what are the last four digits of your social security number? For my security, okay. We regret to inform you that due to suspicious activity on your account, your debit card has been temporarily locked. In order to unlock, we need to verify your identity by entering some of your information on file. Please enter your three digits card verification code as it appears on the back of your card. All right, I got that too. Let's go. Please enter your three Please enter your four digits expiration date as follows. May 2016 will be 0516. Okay. Now, please enter your five digit zip code associated with your Visa debit card. Hmm. Let's do... You will be required to confirm your full name. After the beep, say loud and clear your first and last name, and press pound key. Nice try, jackass. Please wait. Your account has been successfully verified. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. Oh. Thank you for using Chase Bank. Goodbye. Enjoy. Bye, have a great time.